The government says the proposed fresh registration of all Kenyans in a digital database will not initially involve the issuance of national ID cards. Instead, it will initially concentrate on capturing the biometric details of all Kenyans. Ben Kitili reports. The government is upbeat about the proposed process of registering Kenyans afresh to put them in a digital database synchronizing all their details. It is not clear when the process will begin or how long it will take, but Kenyans seem to be behind the government in establishing the system expected to raise the level of security in the country. Of course. Because of these uh, security, 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 security details, eh? Dio tujue wa Kenya halisi ni kina nani, na wageni dio wa kina nani. The database will have biometric details of all persons, land and other assets, making it easy for the government to plan. The Interior Ministry and that of Information and Communication Technology have been tasked with implementing the project. And the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission is set to offer technical advice on biometric registration. After registering a total of 14.3 million voters using the biometric voter registration system in just one month ahead of the last general election, IEBC believes this is a good move by the government. It is something which has been, been talked from, I think, from the Nyayo era up to now, but the implementation has been a problem. So if this government can implement it, it would be good for Kenyans to have an integrated system. <laughs> The Orange Democratic Movement has already warned against using the IABC process as the litmus test, pointing to the challenges the electoral body faced with the new system in the last election. Since when <laughs> did the IABC take over the role of immigration of persons? To what or the role of registration of persons? However, IABC sought to clarify. That's why we managed to capture 14.3 million people because. The BVR is a separate component from the EVID. What failed was the EVID, but this other one, the BVR, was successful, and that's why we have a register. ICT Principal Secretary Joseph Tiampati has intimated that the process of registering Kenyans afresh will cost around 8 billion shillings. According to IEBC, logistics of rolling out the system, like training the clerks, is something the task force heading the project might want to consider. However, IBC has refused to be drawn into the project. Uh, we don't actually want to be involved in that project as IBC. Neither do we want to give out any uh, our BVR machine. With the biometric database containing details of every Kenyan, the state says it will be easier to nab illegal immigrants than it is in the ongoing Operation Usalama Watch. The government has projected the registration to take six months once the necessary infrastructure is in place and Kenyans are hoping to reap the fruits. The establishment of a national digital database of all Kenyans over the age of 12 has been talked up as the ultimate solution to improving government planning and curbing insecurity. But it will leave a massive dent on public coffers besides other logistical challenges. Ben Kitili, KTN, Nairobi.